what's going on folks and welcome for some more magnet fishing fun so everyone i had planned today to be going to the causeway the little spot i found right behind me but it's pretty overcast and as i was passing this awesome little fishing pier and boat dock i noticed no one was on it at all so i figured i'm gonna stop here uh we haven't been here in a while but this is a good place we are going to get the double impact from magnetar out here and see what else is hiding down below if we don't come up with much here we will head over to the causeway but let's get this magnet out and start searching for some treasures as always i appreciate each and every one of you especially my channel members thank you guys for sticking with me to this point we're holding strong right around 25 and guys it, it really helps it means the world to me so thank you so much now with all that being said if you need any more information that'll be in the description right down below now let's get to this thanks guys Drop this puppy right along the side here and drag it. Did we hit something? Oh, I think we did. I'm pretty sure we did. All right. We did get something. We got a couple things on there actually. Oh, well that part fell off. A little piece of rebar there, something like that. That looks like a yeah a cell phone charger. All right, not bad for the first throw. Something on there. Is that a catfish bell? Think so. Yep. Another part of it, it stayed on there. It's actually like, uh, I guess it's a catfish, bill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody was using that for fishing. All right, handle to a rod and reel there. I'm always finding the handles. Yeah, what do we got? We got a couple of things. There is a knife on there. And some big old heavy pipe. Alright, boys and girls. Oh, that pipe should be solid. That thing is heavy. Let's check this out first though. Well, there went the clip from it. Clip just busted off. Yeah, it's shot. It's a cool knife though. Well, it was a cool knife. What is this guy? Jeez. There's just a solid piece of steel right there. Like 10 pounds. There's some hanging in between the middle of them there. <laughs> All right, another part of a rod and reel, the handle there. Another hook on there. Kind of neat how it sits right there like that. What's that? Yeah. Might have felt something. There is something on it, but. A little battery. Another little hook. Hey, that's actually a drill bit right there for an impact driver. Got a little baby washer on there. And we're living the high life. All right.
Oh, is that an actual cowbell? Yes, it is. These things are just so cool looking to me. Still got the bell in it. It does still have the bell in it. Oh, it's got the top and everything. I keep these. Let's see. I don't want to bust the bell, but it's got a little bell in there. Oh no, I just think they look cool. Heck yeah. fishing hook on there it's an oldie oh look Bob it's another one that says the same name this one's better I think this is J Matthew Timlin hand ground stainless I found another knife with this exact lettering on it Oh, that's nice. Maybe this will pop off. That'll go in the key. Oh, it's sharp. All right. Good deal. See what I see hanging off of there? It's a real one. It's a. It's got the logo. Oh, let's let's wash it off. Let's wash it off. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Stay right there. Basic. Got the logo. Oh, there's the toothpick, and hopefully the tweezers are still in it. Oh, I like knives, but you gotta always love a Swiss Army knife right there. Heck yeah. Seaweed. No, there's something on there. There's a fishing rod holder keep finding a bunch of these that one is in good shape though that's perfectly usable right there thank you all right now we're finding some goodies check it out this side is loaded with stuff is that the third handle to a rod and reel we got the old Coors Light now. All right. Well, no, uh, as it looks just like the other one. Whoa. Are you kidding me? It really is just like the other one. No, uh, it's this exact same writing. No way. Ooh, that's its big brother. Check that out. That's nice right there. We got some, there's another knife. I'll take it's a butter knife, but I'll take that too. Fishing line hooked on there from the hook. A little butter knife. Another hook there. All right, folks. We're gonna head to the original destination. It's a good spot here, but it's too hard just to stand on this thing and walk around so everybody can see. We'll be back in a second. Oh, all right. 
first find of the causeway it looks like part of a cast net. Yeah. What's left of one? We'll get that out. My old nemesis. We got some fishing gear caught on it. Quite sure what that little guy is. Thought it was a handle to a pair of pliers, but I don't think so. We got a hook on there too. All right, folks, we had to get the barbarian out just because I had it with me, and she was getting jealous. I think they got something. What's that bad boy? Oh, okay. There's two things on there, actually. Oh no. It's uh, it's be one of those walking measuring sticks of some kind. It's got somebody's name on it, like you're supposed to do, but somebody still took it from them. M-A-U-P-Y, Mouthy. That's been down there for a minute, whatever that little piece is. All right. Whatever that little guy is. Ooh. something right in front of me and I was pulling it up just a chunk of iron yes I felt that suck out of the mud Got a little hole in it there what's that deal yeah it's pretty cool I don't know what it is it's just neat to me that's uh your everyday run of the mill tomahawk I think that's part of another rod and reel. Not really sure. Get out there. So a lot of you guys are asking me, even at this point, how come I don't throw my magnet out all the time? Like throw it out far like that, which that wasn't even half the rope. So I'm a little different than everybody else. Whenever I go anywhere, especially a new spot, I always start off right in front of me and I work myself out. I know the vast majority of magnet fisher men and women do the opposite, but I have found a lot of stuff is right in front of me and you're just gonna end up dragging over it. So I work clearing my way out. And as I've been here a few times, now I'm throwing the magnet out. And that's my TED talk. Thanks for listening. Oops, see, right in front of me. See what I'm talking about? Right in front of me. Ugh. God, that thing was buried down in there. That looks like a car part to me. Get off of there. Looks like where your brake pad might go. Not 100% sure because it's all gunked up. If I was a betting man, I'd say that's where your brake pads go. I'm sure one of you guys will let me know exactly what that puppy is. It's got some weight to it also. Alright. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Got you now. Uh, uh, uh. Come out of there. 
What's that guy? Well, I can see oil coming out of it, whatever it is. Look at that, Look at that sheen on it right there. You see that? Yeah. All the water, look at it in the water too. This little part popped off of it. That, that little piece. I don't know. I just don't know my car parts too well. So I'll leave it up to you guys. I hit something. Whoa, we hit two things. Okay. And we are on the knives today, boys and girls. That looks like a coupling there, but my gosh, look at that puppy. Woo! Yeah, it looks like old coupling or something right there. Yep, knife and old coupling. In there sure felt that guy smack it though oh yeah it's on there mm. another car part maybe i don't know i think it used to be blue come out of there gotcha gotcha Ooh. what is that one I don't know what none of this stuff is. Mm. Yep, it all kind of just fell apart. No idea what that one is. It was just falling apart. Well, it looks to be another car part. I just don't know what it is. All right. Ooh, 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 all right. We got us a wrench. see one it's not in bad shape though let's take it all right ladies and gentlemen boys and girls that's gonna do it for this trip i mean nothing too crazy a lot of smalls but those are sometimes some of the best things to find i mean swiss army knife the other two cool knives that i am assuming are handmade somewhere locally because i think i've now found with those two maybe two more but i'm not sure i can't find anything online about them Either way, we had a good day. You guys let me know what you think about some of those car parts. I would appreciate the information. With all that being said, everyone remember, get up, get out, go find yourself, and we'll see you all in the next episode. Peace out, everyone. Mm -hmm.